and gentlemen. To the Hi, I'm Peter from Dear Pageant Girl. I'm here with Robert, Dear Pageant Girl Victoria, and, right and Sonia, Dear Pageant Girl Queensland. And we're at the finals Mr. of the Miss Universe Australia 2012 pageant. We'll be serving you up some undeniable souls. Robert from Dear Pageant Girl Victoria. I'm with George from Shearer's Uggs. Hi, how are you? Now, tell me about these Uggs that you designed for Peter Sereno. Oh, well. Well, Peter's been on my back for quite a while. And he says I want something outspoken, something that's me. So I thought of something, so I thought horsehair would be the thing for him. And, um, well. You've seen the results. I saw them. He launched them at the swimwear um, final on Wednesday. He got many comments. That's great. They are like the, that's very nice. I, Good. I think they're like a one-off. Absolutely. They were, only, they were designed for him and I called them Peter, P-E-T-A, after him. So if we are going to go in production, it'll be a Peter range. And this is Robert from Dear Pageant Girl and I'm here with Troy, Director of Miss Universe Australia, Western Australia. Good evening. Hi Robert, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Now, I've got some questions for you. These Western Australian girls come really prepared. What, yeah, do, you, what do you do to get these girls in such condition because they are a force to be reckoned with? Yeah, I think, I think the best thing about the WA team is we actually come as a team. And to get to, get, to work them as a team over six months, um, and keeping them all so close, it keeps them all motivated, and they can see they can see how the other girls are progressing, and um, having them yeah, so close for so long, I think that that puts us in pretty good stead. So we're here with Miffy Scadden McHugh, the current Miss Tourism Australia 2011. Uh, Miffy, um, are you excited? Do you have any favourites for tonight? I'm very excited. I've had a little bit of a look at the girls, but I couldn't say any favourites. They're all too beautiful. It's too hard to choose. <laughs> well, you look absolutely stunning tonight. May I ask um, who you're wearing tonight? Um, tonight I'm wearing a dress by Sherry Hill. It's a favourite of the pageant girls, so I thought I'd carry on the tradition. <laughs> I'm here with Wayne Cooper, one of the judges for the 2012 Miss Universe Australia pageant. So Wayne, um, do you have any favourites for tonight's pageant? I can't answer that. I only just saw their photos just now. I wasn't in the process. I know we are down to 12 girls. And I'm the gun that's going to pick the best one of the 12. Don't worry about the early bit. I'm here for the crucial part. All right. And is there any... What, what particularly are you looking for in a winner tonight? Hopefully we can get beauty, hot body and brains, the complete package, right? What we all dream of. The pageant girl is here with Deborah Miller, National Director for Miss Universe Australia. It seems like there's about half a dozen girls that could sort of potentially bring it tonight. Do you agree? Absolutely. Tall and blonde or oh, they're brunette. <laughs> <laughs> this is our hardest ever pageant in the last few years. The talent is higher. It is hard. Usually there's one or two standouts, but tonight there's probably, as you said, six standouts. Welcome to Miss Universe 2012. My name is Rob from De Lorenzo. Let me come through and introduce you to a couple of our technicians. We've prepped the roots with Sandstorm just to give it a little bit more grip. And we'll finish off with Vapor Mist and ends probably just to seal them slightly just to give it a little bit more gloss. <coughs> what are we doing tonight? We're making these beautiful girls look glamorous. How many models have you done today? Oh god, I've lost count. Have we had fun today Excellent. at the 2012 really, really Miss good. Universe Australia? Fantastic, really good. We've got a number one? Um, yeah, I've got three number ones. Three number ones. So we've just done the red carpet. We've spoken to the girls backstage. The atmosphere and the energy in the auditorium is electric. We're about 45 minutes away before we select the Australian representative for Miss Universe 2012. The girls are expected to come out in their cocktail gowns, their cocktail, their cocktail dresses. Then the top 12 will be selected. The top 12 will then parade in their swimsuits, their evening gowns, and the judges will then call the top 12 to a top five. And out of the top five, 
all of them will be interviewed with the final question, the dreaded final question. And then hopefully within 10, 15 minutes, we should have our girl that will represent us for the Miss Universe pageant. First finalist through, Mary Vitnaros. Our second finalist through to the top 12, Nicole Rosetto. Third finalist through this evening to the top 12 is Tracy Lee Beswick. The fourth finalist through to the top 12 tonight, Leah Johnson. Our fifth finalist through to the top 12, Julia Parrott Clark. Our sixth finalist of the top 12 for this evening, Sunny Lungan. The seventh finalist through to the top 12, Kathy Cowdroy. Our eighth finalist through to the top 12 this evening, ladies and gentlemen, Madeline Taylor. <laughs> Our ninth finalist through to the top 12 tonight, Renee Eris. Our tenth finalist through to the top 12, Amy From. Our 11th finalist through to the top 12 this evening, Susie Lee. Our 12th and final finalist through to the top 12 for tonight, Lucy Tuddyett. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our top 12, but also for our beautiful finalists.
our first finalists through to the top five. Renee Harris. Our second finalist through to the top five. Mary Vitnaros. Our third finalist through to the top five tonight. Amy from. Our fourth finalist through to the top five this evening, Julia Parrot Clark. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our fifth and final contestant through to the top five tonight of the Miss Universe Australia 2012. Lucy Tuttiet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is our top five. Renee, your question will be asked by Annalise Brackensick. Renee, they say that exterior beauty only lasts for a while and inner beauty lasts forever. And what makes you an inner beauty? I'm an inner beauty. Sorry. I feel as though I'm an inner beauty as I pursue my beauty within from my presence and my friendly face and the behaviour I have around other people. I find myself a very friendly person and I like to come across that way. Thank you. Mary, your question will be asked by Jason Coleman. Uh, congratulations, ladies. You're all very beautiful. Um, my question tonight, Mary, is that uh, you are obviously standing in the company of extremely beautiful and deserving women. Why do you think you are more beautiful or deserving than the four women you're standing with? <laughs> and take a moment, darling, because that's a tough question, yes? Okay. Thank you for the question, Jason. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Um, sorry, just have to think about the question again. I don't believe that I'm more physically beautiful than any of the other girls here. I believe that everyone is beautiful in their own unique way and that everyone should be treasured for that and appreciated for that. I believe that beauty is radiated from the inside of a person and that that is what makes a person beautiful. And I really try to be the best person I can be so that I can be beautiful on the outside as well. Thank you, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Vitnaros. Amy, your question will be asked by Mr. Clive Scott. Hello, Amy, how are you? Hi. Amy, if you were lucky enough to win this competition and as you travel around the world you meet a young girl and she said to you, what should I do to win Miss Universe in the future? What would you tell her? Thank you. I would really encourage the girl to be confident and to be herself because in the end you can't pretend to be someone that you're not. So I really encourage to be yourself and be confident and a happy person and just really enjoy the, the journey because it's all about the journey enjoying it. Thank you.
Julia, your question will be asked by Naomi Robson. Hi, Julia. Hi. Julia, this is a current issue. Your opinion on same-sex marriage. Same-sex marriage. Thank you. Thank you, Naomi. Good evening, everyone. I believe that everyone should have equal rights, um, whether it be marriage or any other factor. Um, I believe that everyone has their own opinion and if it doesn't infringe on anyone else's rights, then I think it's a great thing because I think everyone, if they're in love, then they should celebrate love and if that means marriage, then celebrate marriage because that's an amazing thing. Thank you. Lucy, your question will be asked by Simone Cox. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Um, if an industry professional asked you or advised you that you needed cosmetic surgery in order to uh, further or enhance your career, would you consider it? Thank you for that question. That is a very current concern within the modelling industry. And I believe that if you feel you have to change yourself, then you're not a true beauty. I believe beauty comes from within. And if you feel that someone else is going to influence that beauty, then you shouldn't pursue that career because your personal persona and your personal natural beauty is what shines through at the end of the day. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, all of our five finalists will receive a placing this evening. So we'll begin by announcing our fourth runner-up for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Our fourth runner-up in the 2012 Miss Universe Australia official crowning ceremony is Julia Perrett Clark. The third runner up in the 2012 Miss Universe. Australia official crowning ceremony is Lucy Tuttiets. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the second runner up this evening is Amy from. Ladies and gentlemen, we saw her just a moment ago, so please put your hands together as she takes her final walk as Miss Universe Australia. Please put your hands together for Sherry Lee Biggs. Sherry Lee will be crowning our winner of 2012. If we could please ask our final two contestants to please come forward on the stage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will announce the winner of Miss Universe Australia for 2012. And should she not be able to fulfil her duties and role as Miss Universe Australia, then the first runner-up will take her place. Ladies and gentlemen, 
The winner of Miss Universe Australia 2012 is Renee Harris. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for 2012 Miss Universe Australia, Renee Harris. This of course means our first runner-up, and please put your hands together for the beautiful Mary Bitnaros. My name's Peter from Dear Pageant Girl. Hi, Renee. <laughs> now that Miss Universe is accepting transsexuals into the competition, how do you feel about possibly competing against an actual born male? I honestly do not mind at all. I, I think they can, it's their body and they can do what they want and I will see them as a woman and I will treat them as a woman and I will treat everyone equally so I wouldn't see it like that at all. So there you have it. Renee Ayres is the Miss Universe 2012 Australia representative. There is definitely something in the water in Western Australia. And I need to move there pronto. So keep an eye out on Dear Pageant Girls Facebook page for updates on Renee. And we look forward to updating you and giving you the latest news on Miss Universe Australia 2012.